Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, I'm gonna do a review of the Marriott Titanium Status and that video is gonna come up right now. So in the past, I got the Titanium Status with Merit by Pure Flu and I'll go over that in this video because it's quite interesting how I got it and I also got a chance to use it during some of my travels to some countries around the world. So first, how can you get Marriott Titanium Status? Well, the only way to get that status right now is to stay at least 75 nights in one year at a Merit property. So as you can see, it's a pretty steep requirement to get that elite status. The only way I can think of to speed up your way to get Titanium Status is to get the Merit Bonvoy personal and business credit card in the US because they're gonna give you 30 elite night stay that means instead of staying 75 nights in that one year then you only have to stay 45 nights now 45 nights is still a lot of nights but it's better than staying 75 nights some of the benefits that the titanium status comes with is an in-room enhanced internet access which isn't that bad but I haven't seen it to be that much of a game changer compared to the regular internet you also get member rates however you don't get a special titanium member rate it's the same rate that you get whether that you have the base level status all the way to titanium status. There's also the mobile check-in service. That one I have personally never used, so I can't comment on that. They also have the ultimate reservation guarantee. And what that means is that if you want to stay in a married property and they don't have any room, they're gonna pay for another hotel for you to stay in. So I've never experienced this before because every time I use my points at a married property or book out of pocket, there has always been an availability. You also get 75% more points when you stay at a married property, which adds up if you are the kind of traveler that travels for business and you stay at a married property quite frequently. There's also a 4 p.m. late checkout and this one is very good. I really like this perk because sometimes your flight is not till the evening and by having that 4 p.m. late checkout, by the time you check out at 4 p.m., you are on your way to the airport and ready for your late night flight and you feel refreshed and not exhausted because you were hanging around the airport and as you know, airports can be a stressful environment. It also comes with a dedicated elite support. So this is nice because if you need to get a hold of a married representative, you could talk to them right away because you are in a front of the line as a result of having that titanium status. It also comes with a welcome gift and the best welcome gift obviously is the free breakfast. So I would take that if you are staying in a Marriott property and they offer you a free gift. You will also get enhanced room upgrades which is awesome because you can get upgraded all the way to a suite and as you know the suite is super nice. You get like a full room with a living room and whatnot and usually with a better view so it can really enhance your vacation if you get a suite. You also get lounge access and this one is a game changer because sometimes if you are traveling and you want to save money then you can just go to a lounge and have your dinner in the lounge and usually the lounge has lots of yummy food so if you travel and you have that lounge access then definitely this is a huge massive perk they also have guaranteed room type as a benefit that means for your preferred kind of room and your preferred kind of bed they will guarantee that you will have that i've never used that perk before but it's available apparently if you earn that 75 qualifying nights in that one year they're also gonna give you a bonus reward. And actually, if you are titanium status, you get two bonus rewards. So the best one obviously is the five sweet night award. But on top of that, there's a second award that you can pick. And the second award could be a free night award. You can give gold elite status to someone else. You can get 40% off purchasing a mattress through Merit Hotel. You can get five elite night credits, which actually is quite nice because instead of staying 75 nights for that one year, then you only have to stay 70 nights. And you can also donate $100 towards charity. Honestly, if you can donate to charity, you should just donate out of pocket because the other perks outweigh that $100 charity donations. They also guarantee that if you book before 48 hours, that there is gonna be a room available for you. And they'll also give you a United Airlines silver status, which is quite nice if you wanna get airline status. When I had titanium status, I did get a chance to get that airline status with United Airlines, although I've never used it, so it's gone by now. So it's only good for people that want to fly with United Airlines. Now, personally, I got this status by pure fluke. I only had it for one year. And basically what happened was that I finish the taste of platinum status back before the Merit and Starwood merger and as soon as I finished that platinum status the merger happened and after the merger happened everyone that had platinum status became titanium status so for one year I did have the titanium status and I did get a chance to use it back in 2019 when I went to Vietnam and I stayed seven nights at a Sheraton hotel at Nha Trang that is a beachfront property and it was a wonderful experience the breakfast was so amazing the lounge access was great I drank so much Vietnamese coffee so that was definitely a very nice perk. I got a chance to use that as well when I went to Rwanda and 
again, I got a sweet upgrade and my room was freaking massive. It was way too big, actually. I didn't need all that space. And again, we got the free breakfast, which was awesome in Rwanda. Lounge access was really nice as well. And the one interesting perk that I got was I got some kind of credit with the hotel and I used that credit to do my laundry. So that was also a nice perk. Now, honestly, I would say that titanium status has such similar benefits to platinum status that there's no point into aiming for titanium status other than you get that second benefit for completing that 75 night requirements. So I think if you are trying to get elite status with Merit, I think platinum is good enough because you can still get that sweet upgrade. You can still get that free breakfast. You can still get that lounge access. You can still get that late checkout. So you can get most of the benefits that you get with platinum status. So you don't really need titanium status in my opinion. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to the Travel Name Free newsletter where you can get a test of cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.